member Arshdi. So over to you, Dr. Nishta. Thank you, Manbir. Hello, everyone. You're ready for the tour? Yes. Okay. You remember the thumbs up? Good, good. All right. Let's start with the tour then. Okay, so these are the things we'll be seeing today in the tour. Okay, the Mexico flag, the background, then the currency of Mexico, airlines, location, the language which is followed there, the culture there, the cuisine, the economy, the geography, and the tourism. All right, so let's start with the tour. So the first thing which we'll be seeing is the Mexican flag. Okay, yes, Abir, you want to say something? This Mexico flag looks a lot like Arabic flag, except it doesn't have a white and it has no bird in the middle. All right. All right. Thank you for the update. So, yes. So what's so special about this flag? Guest, it's a red, white and green colored flag. Okay. And they are present in a vertical way, not in a horizontal way. Then the you know this thing in the middle of the flag in the center of the flag what is this it is the national coat of arms for mexico now what does that mean it means it is a mexican golden eagle here this in the center this eagle is sitting on a cactus here see this properly it's sitting on a cactus here and is what it is devouring a rattlesnake it's it's killing it is eating up a rattlesnake Okay, so this is something representative of their flag. All right. Now, the capital is the Mexico City. The dialing code there is plus five two. Their currency is peso, Mexican peso. The president is Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. And the population there is 12.76 crores. This was according to the 2019 World Bank. Mexico City, hmm, they couldn't think of a better capital. So they just named it yeah. Mexico City. It seems yeah, very, very simple, no? Yes, Arika, do you want to say something? Okay, okay, fine. So the next thing is the background about Mexico. So the background is the see the written history of Mexico spans more than three millennia. First populated more than 13,000 years, Anj. Ma'am, Mexico's map is only one flag, flag who has the birds feature in the middle. Yes. Did you ask me that or you were telling me, Anj? Ma'am, I am telling. All right, all right. Thank you. So, the written history spans for more than three millennia. Then the first populated, it was first populated more than 13,000 years ago. Long back. Central and Southern Mexico. They are termed Mesoamerica. So, they saw the rise and fall of complex indigenous civilizations. Mesoamerican civilizations developed glyphic writing systems. If you see this picture here, this indicates the glyphic writing system there, recording the political history of conquest and rulers. So it was mainly based on what? The political history, which involved what? The conquest and their rulers. Mesoamerican history prior to European arrival is called the pre Columbian era. Following Mexico's independence from Spain in 1821, as well as the outbreak of the Mexican Revolution in 1910, Mexico's economy grew rapidly. Yes, Abir? One thing is, yes. by now, mm -hmm. if Spain and Mexico hadn't, mm -hmm. um, you know, separated, you know what it would have been called on the map? It would have been called Mexico, bracket, Spain. 
Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> good one, Abir. Okay, so now we'll come to the currency here. Uh, Rohita, you want to say something? Yes, uh, Mexico yes. is very popular. Okay. Like everybody yes. knows about Mexico. Yes. And it's a beautiful place, isn't it? My grandparents also know about Mexico. All right. That's great. That's great. Okay. Now, the peso is the monetary unit of several countries in the Americas and the Philippines. Originating in Spain, the word peso translates to weight. Okay, so it translates to weight, it means weight and uses the peso sign like dollar or this P here in the Philippines. The silver peso was widely used international trade coin from the 16th to the 19th centuries. Yes, now we we'll come to the airlines in Mexico. So the airline industry in Mexico began in 1921 within the Mexico City. And Mexico City is what of Mexico? Can someone tell me? It's a capital. Yes, that's right. Okay. So it was later known as Mexicana. It was the world's fourth oldest airline and ceased operations on August 28, 2010 or 2010. Aero Mexico is currently Mexico's largest airline. Okay, remember this. Aero Mexico is the largest airline in Mexico. It operates scheduled services to more than 90 destinations. Isn't that huge? Yes. All yes, right. Um, yes, yes thank, you. thank you. Thank you for your response. So if you see this picture here, Aero Mexico is Mexico's largest airline. Then Volaris is the second largest airline there. Interjet, it has a generous baggage allowance. So it's not that strict. Then TAR Aerolineas. What does that provide? Services, smaller destinations. And Viva Aerobus is a budget-friendly airline. So these are the top five airlines of Mexico, with Aero Mexico being the largest one. Now, Mexico, officially the United Mexican States, is a country in the southern portion of North America. So, it's where? It's here in the southern portion of North America. Just a minute. Yes, Arika? Yes, ma'am. Can you show that currency slide? Yeah, sure. One minute. Yes, what about this? Thank you, ma'am. May I proceed now? Ma'am? Yes? Ma'am, um, currency yes, ma or pesos is uh, the difference. But in Indian currency, there is one only the picture of Mahatma Gandhi ji. Yes, yes, that's a good observation. Good one, Ansh. Good, good one. All right. So, yes, we were on the location of Mexico. So, it is officially the United Mexican States. And it is a country in the southern portion of North America. Fine. So, it's located here. And this is the Mexico City, which is the capital. Oh, oh. I can see it on my map also. I'm sorry, on the globe. Oh, okay. Uh, I can hear some the sound. United States. Someone is tapping something, I guess. Please don't do that. It's creating a bit of disturbance. Yeah, so it is in the southern portion of North America. And it is bordered to the north by the United States states so here the united states is present then please stop tapping who's tapping this please don't tap or oh, please mute yourself mom yes. it's so... yeah 
so it is bordered to the south and west by the pacific ocean so the south here and the west this is what the pacific ocean here so sorry for this yes now to the south east by guatemala believe so to the south east here by guatemala believe and the uh, yes abir who said ma'am me i'm saying i know one island in mexico yeah which one you might not be able to pronounce it but i can okay let's try it's called guadalupe and it's known for one apex ocean predator Guadalupe. Oh, wow. Yes. All right. Okay. Fine. Thank and you. And that is actually an island in Mexico. Yes. Now, I don't expect any islands in that country, but there is one. Or it's maybe no. apex predators also in the water. Because okay, let's search. Let's okay, search let's about see. it more. No issue. We we'll search about it more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine. And the Caribbean Sea to the southeast. Okay. Also, language spoken there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're coming to that. Don't worry. Yes. So, anything else left in this? To the east by the Gulf of Mexico. Fine. So here is the Gulf of Mexico here. So it's to the east of Mexico. Kya? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now let's... now let's come to the language spoken in Mexico. So here it is Prakar. I guess Prakar was asking for it. Who asked for the language? Me. Me. Arhan. All right. So in Mexico, Spanish is the de facto language of the government. De facto language means what? It is not officially recognized, but it is informally used. Okay, so it is the de facto language of the government and the first language of 90% of the population there. Mexican Spanish is a set of varieties of the Spanish language as spoken in Mexico and in some parts of the United States and Canada. So Mexican wow. Spanish is actually, yes. I think somebody are there in the name of me because when somebody unmuted, they were like Rohita. Mm, like okay. someone, Jayant, like, I don't know, but they were like Rohita. I think so now they left, ma'am. All right, no issue. All right. So yeah, the language is done. Now, the culture there. So the Mexico's culture is rich, colorful, and vibrant. It's beautiful. It is influenced by its ancient civilizations such as the Aztec and Maya, as well as European colonization. So this is influenced by what? Uh, Mandir, am I audible to you? There must be Maya yes. over there. Uh, Mandir? Yes. This Sushma Jayant is some student, uh, I mean, some guest with us or someone from the team? Uh, it, uh, as a guest, like, uh, is there any problem? Uh, yeah, I guess Rohita had some doubt. Okay. Yes, no. Okay, I'll just look into this. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right. This is too much. Okay. All that right. So, yes, yes. Who's speaking? I was saying that those skeletons. Why to decorate it so much? They're just thing? skeletons. Which... They're just skeletons. Where are the skeletons? They were in the uh, next picture. They're so okay, colorful. I'll, I'll, I'll... Yeah, I will go to that. Don't worry. So this culture here in Mexico, it is unique and probably one of the most fascinating cultures in the whole world. 
the traditions and customs of the mexican people are varied and diverse of course so the culture and traditions the customs are of course diverse in different places okay so you were talking about this yeah what about this i could not get your question um arhan yes mama was saying down down okay this last right. one yeah okay okay yeah that's see even that is so colorful isn't it beautiful everything yeah. is so vibrant so colorful yeah mama i felt scared <laughs> no no there's nothing to get scared of so now the cuisine mexico is the a country with dead. rich what sorry prakar what what the day of the dead what did you say not all right mexico is a country with rich cultural history with its food being one of the most integral parts its cuisine links to thousands of years of tradition and culture they heavily rely on tropical fruits and beans as their food so these are the main things which they are dependent upon or which they rely more upon the tropical fruits and the beans avocado cashew corn are the main ingredients used there salsa tortillas quesadillas then tacos enchiladas are few of the famous cuisine so has any one of you tasted any of these i haven't I but has anyone you did not taco or something okay how is it it's just like the sandwich but a veg thing okay, nachos i have had Me? all right uh, anything I else i think everyone here would have had tacos and nachos and burritos well i haven't have it <laughs> i never had it actually i never had any of the mexican dishes yes that's true <laughs> i've never had yes sarita uh, you want to say something who oh, sarita Did you raise your hands, Sarita? Okay. Anyway, so let's move ahead. Now the economy there. The economy of Mexico is a developing market economy. It is the fifteenth largest in the world according to the IMF, the International Monetary Fund. Since the nineteen ninety four crisis. administrations have improved the country's macroeconomic fundamentals however mexico was one of the latin american nations which was most affected by the 2008 recession with its gdp contracting by more than 6% in that year that was a huge contraction yeah so its gdp contracted by more than 6% in that year Now let's come to the geography of Mexico. So the geography of Mexico describes the geographic features of Mexico. Yeah, that's what obvious. A country in the Americas. Mexico is located at twenty-three degree north and one hundred and two degree west in the southern portion of North America. From its farthest. uh please keep yourselves on mute if you don't want to speak please keep yourselves on mute yeah so in the southern portion of north america from its farthest land points mexico is a little over 3200 km in length so something just above 3200 km lengthwise Yeah so the borders the total land borders are 4263 km longest river there is Rio Grande 3108 km coastline is 9330 km oh. and the lowest point yes nothing okay the lowest point is Laguna Salada okay and the largest lake is lake chapala that is 1100 km square the highest point there is pico de orizaba volcano 
which is 5700 meters high the continent is the north america its continent is north america okay now the next thing is the tourism there so the tourism in mexico is a very important industry mexico has a significant number of unesco world heritage sites with the list including ancient ruins colonial cities and natural reserves as well as a number of works of modern public and private architecture mexico has attracted foreign visitors beginning in the early 19th century cultural festivals colonial cities nature reserves and beach resorts Now this is Cancun and the Mayan Riviera. What so, river is over there? What? The river is even around? there? Yes, it is there. So is this the best places to visit in? I am not sure, but yeah, it looks like looks beautiful. Cancun is a place in Mexico. Right, right. Is uh, it a city or a state or what is it? Something uh, like a beach. You can say a beach. Yeah, a it 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 is lying along the beautiful stretch of coastline on the Gulf of Ocean. Mexico. Remember yeah, the Gulf of it. Mexico? Yes. Ocean. So these are the resort destinations there. This magnificent area attracts. Some five million visitors every year. In the process, generating huge tourist revenues. The area also boasts numerous fun things to do, like dolphin and stingray swims, snorkeling among reefs, and tropical fish, as well as scuba diving in the world's largest underwater museum, which is present here. A spectacular collection of sculptures submerged at depths of up to eight meters. Oh wow! See these sculptures here? Can you all see these? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. The second one is it like full of me. donuts on it. Yeah. <laughs> right. 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 Okay. Another of Mexico's increasingly popular beach destinations is the Pacific coastal city of Puerto Vallarta. Since become extremely popular among foreigners looking for second homes in a sunny, warmer climate. So the climate here is a bit warmer comparatively. Many parts of it remain untouched by modern development. So it's more towards the you know natural beauty thing. Nowadays, the city is as likely to attract an older cruise ship audience looking to swim with the dolphins as it is younger travelers looking for adventure. Found here in activities as diverse as paragliding and jet skiing. Uh, yes, now the 30 kilometer stretch of pristine beaches attract the visitors the world attract visitors all over the world for its clear waters diving snorkeling and fishing it also hosts the world's largest marlin contest numerous resorts have sprung up that cater to all tastes and budgets from luxurious spas to golf centered properties offering some of the best courses in north america Now the Copper Canyon, Mexico's Grand Canyon. Chihuahua, one of Mexico's most northerly states, it shares the border with New Mexico in the US. It is home to one of the country's most visited natural attractions, the stunning Copper Canyon. It is located in a region known as the Sierra Madre Occidental and consisting of a spectacular group of deep canyons Copper Canyon is in fact larger and deeper than its better known cousin, the Grand Canyon. So as compared to the Grand Canyon, it is larger and deeper. Now, Mexico City 
is not only the capital of the country and the seat of the government, it is one of the country's most popular alternative travel destinations. Many world-class museums, art galleries and attractions are present here. Instead, focus your efforts on the historic city center, a 15 square kilometer UNESCO World Heritage Site boasting more than 1400 important colonial buildings from the 16th to the 19th centuries again. Wow, see this here. What is this? This seems to be an angel. Hmm? It looks more like a hybrid between a human and a eagle of some sort. Uh, yeah, we can say that. It is actually a beautiful sculpture there, an attractive sculpture. Oh, yeah. so yes. I think she's uh, actually uh, holding something so that we can put a basket on his back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is this chicken? It's a the Mayan Metropolisere a popular day trip for those visiting Cancun and Playa del Carmen or the Yucatan capital of Merida, the magnificent Mayan city of... Yes, somebody is saying something? Yeah, so it is one of Mexico's most visited archaeological sites as well as one of the biggest and best restored highlights of a visit to this unesco world heritage site are numerous so it's a beautiful place there and it is one of the most visited archaeological sites so here we come to the end of today's journey oh yes so anything you all want to revise from it or you know anything you want to take home Especially from Nothing. today's tour. Nothing. I've written down everything. Oh, wow, Aran. Yes. Ma'am, which country we are visiting tomorrow? Yeah. That Manbir, ma'am, will be telling you. Manbir, over to you. Okay. I think something would end this time. Some Nambi or something. Nepal, something maybe. Yeah, correct, correct. Something like that. Manbir, are you there? Um, don't think so. Is she is there? No. Let's wait for ma'am. Yes, yeah, she is there. She's still there. Where are we visiting tomorrow? That's the thing I want to ask. We both want to ask. Oh. Oops. We will be visiting Nepal. Nepal. I knew it. Me too. And is there any task? Yes, you have to search about the festivals of Nepal. Okay, ma'am. All right. So, Rohita, do you want to give presentation today? Yes, ma'am. I'm still working on it. I'm going to share it. All right. Ma'am? Yes? You know that uh, how there is a, a kind of word uh, in the Microsoft Word like that only in the play, uh, presentation you make there is something uh, some programming thing in that also you can make something. What I kind of word? Online. In that also we can make presentation. Okay. 
हेलो यस ममता कैन आई शेयर इट मैम या ओके वन मिनट मैम Wow, this is taking a lot of time. Mexico. Mom, can you see my screen? Yes, yes. I can see. No. Oh. Yes. Oh. Uh. Mom. Okay. Mexico. Rohita, you are mute. Yes, ma'am. This is taking a lot of time. Uh, can I share it tomorrow if you don't mind? That's okay. Okay, ma'am. Uh, can I share it tomorrow? All right. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so guest, we will meet you tomorrow, and we will be uh, go to the Nepal. Okay. So bye everyone. Have a good day. Bye, bye everyone. Bye everyone. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, both the ma'am. <laughs>